So there's disassociative disorder. That's like more of the clinical diagnosed uh, issue. You know, I'm not really speaking about that. If you have disassociative disorder, please don't listen to anything I say. Listen to a doctor, therapist, psychologist, a wise person. But I'm more, more just like, I'm, I'm trying to talk to these kids. Hey there, FBI. Uh, what I meant to say is I'm trying to relate to the youth. I'm not trying to talk to any children, so please don't get me in trouble. You know, um, I don't want to come off disrespectful to any of the Gen Zers. You know, I'm a Gen Zer myself. I was born September 96. We are one and the same. We're the same people. I'm just like a little bit older and therefore the elder statesman. And that's why I did like the downward angle because I'm looking down at you. Just kidding. Respect. Um, but yeah, this is how disassociation has affected my life. Yo, I dissociate when the bears start losing. I say swears and I start boozing. Psych, I'm on dry January. I'ma stick to it, at least that's the plan you wary. Yo, sometimes I think life, man, damn, you carry. I'm gonna disassociate in a cemetery. Damn it, why do we sign this guy? I think disassociation for these kids in their heads with all the pressures of the world. The oligarchy, the boomers, inflation, the 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 that's what you gotta debt. do. So you got that going on. For the people who want to just like disassociate from their personal problems, I get it. 2020 it was quite the whirlwind and there were times where I was just down bad. I had to move out of my previous apartment in northern Kentucky. I was living alone, riding solo intentionally, didn't really want to fuck around with new roommates, but I found out there was black mold in the apartment, real threat to my livelihood. So I had to get out of there. I wound up coming into this spot, rooming with this dude Brady. And we overlap for the past month. He just busted out to Colorado. And uh, yeah, in the short time we were with each other, we were able to become really tight. Brady, he's someone who's familiar with the void, but I think he has a really good perspective on pulling yourself out of that situation and just getting out there and enjoying life. Even if you don't have a car or anything, you can always go for a walk through your neighborhood. I feel like every time I leave my house, I have some memorable situation that inspires me to kind of keep moving and like keeps me happy. And um, I'm a very big proponent of affecting change on yourself when you feel like you're in a rut. I'm not one to stay in the same position for a long time. I like a lot of change in my life because I think it just keeps it exciting and it keeps me motivated to see what else is out there. You know, I can't speak to your experience. I don't know what you're going through right now, but for me personally, when I connect with people, that's when I start to forget about whatever I was tripping about. It's hard to break out of that dream world that you can find yourself in when reality feels like it is not it, but you're connected to everyone around you. You're connected to the world. Once you get out there and you're actually participating in the interconnection of everything, it really changes your perspective.